The Miami Dolphins' flirtation with Deshaun Watson last year could have changed the face of the franchise for years but it is smart they passed. When it comes to the legacy of Stephen Ross, the still unfinished novel has yet to be written. So far, however, the book has been pretty bland with only scattered hints of success but far more instances of controversy. Deshaun Watson could have given the Dolphins another chapter in both. When it comes to Watson there are two known facts. 1. He would likely have made the Dolphins an instant contender for the division and the playoffs, and two, he would have brought a lot more unneeded controversy to the team, why are we talking about all of this again? Earlier in the week his agent made waves with comments about how close he came to playing for the Dolphins and that he wanted to play for the Dolphins. Now, another woman has brought a civil suit against him bringing the total to 24, if Stephen Ross didn't want distraction for the other 23. He surely wouldn't want another one. The description from the latest woman is rather detailed and we won't share them here. They are not good. If these are true, it is a horrible look for Watson and now, a horrible look for the Browns who bought him for a lot of their future draft capital, there is more to this story as well. There are reports that this could continue to rise. It was reported that Watson sought out more than 100 private massage therapists on social media, the NFL has concluded its investigation but it may need to be reopened. This could go on for a while. In fact, it is possible that the NFL could make a ruling on just what they know now and more could come later should more evidence be produced outside of what there is now, will Watson play football this year is a legit question and it could be one of the reasons the Browns have yet to move Baker Mayfield. For the Dolphins, yes, the debate will continue with some fans about the risk versus the reward of trading for Watson. This will only further grow if Watson is suspended for only a few games but it is getting more difficult to believe that Watson wouldn't bring the more negative press to Miami regardless of what he can do in the win-slash-loss columns. At some point, you have to move on, and Stephen Ross for whatever reasons had made the right decision even if that decision may have been based on trying to silence the negativity. Either way, the Dolphins avoided what could be worse than Bullygate or the Brian Flores allegations, or anything else that they have endured over the last two decades. Sometimes, winning at all costs isn't the answer.